The levels for autonomous vehicles are based on a technical standard from the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE J3016, which must mean that there must be some form of regulatory body which grants the levels to different manufacturers, right? Actually no, since vehicles within levels can differ so much in the way that you use them, it becomes quite difficult to create a series of rules. Even the SAE J3016 standard is more of a guideline than it is a rigid standard with a bit of room for interpretation. For that reason, it's up to the vehicle manufacturer to determine the level of a specific feature themselves. So why don't companies just market their vehicles as level 5 but in development? The reason is that a regulator can put in different checks and balances, for example requiring a report for all disengagements that the vehicles undergo, or banning the vehicle outright from being allowed on public roads if it doesn't have a driver if it's at a certain level. As a vehicle goes up in level, the liability of accidents within the automated ODD shift from the driver or operator to the manufacturer, and that brings with it a whole lot of problems if the system isn't quite ready for that for the manufacturer. So just because manufacturers can call their vehicles level 5 today, so far no one has done that yet, and probably for good reason. This video is part of a series explaining the basic concepts of autonomous vehicles and SAE J3016 in particular. You can find this video and all the rest on this playlist over here, or click here to go to the next video. Thanks so much for watching.